Canva has always been in my top three best can't live without apps. Canva does so much more than you may think. And when it comes to innovation, I love all of the amazing third-party apps. And all these apps are completely free to use directly underneath the Canva umbrella itself. Seven awesome apps in Canva. So today, I'm going to show you seven amazing powerhouse apps you'll definitely want to make sure you try because these will definitely take your creativity to a whole nother level. Okay, so the first one we're going to start with right here is the one you see on top of your screen and it's called Lottie Files. Thousands of transparent and background free animations apply any color palette, personalize and make it yours. Now it's not hard to find transparent files that are PNGs or still images but when it comes to actual animated ones I've had a hard time finding a good app. This does just that and it's perfect to use in YouTube videos like you see right here. This works fascinatingly well. In fact you could see a few of them on your screen right now. This is pretty cool. And so I can change it up, add a completely different background like you see right here. And because it's transparent, it's going to work quite well across the board with any background that you use. So then you can see some of the examples right here on your screen. And then look at these right here. The cool thing about this is that you could change the color scheme and color palette. So go ahead and click open brand new design. On the left hand side, Lottie files will open up. And then we have some featured ones that we can automatically defer to. And then just look at some of these right here. So if I click this one, this blue thumb thumbs up version. Let's go ahead and do add to design. And now it appears over here on your main design page. Now watch this. So now I'll go to elements and now I'll add a uh, different background. So if I add this background of an image I generated with an AI prompt, I'm going to go ahead and then change the position up by going to layers, dropping my thumb ahead of it. And now I have my thumb. Now check this out. Now, since it has a transparent background, it still works across any background. This is great. This animation, I can change it up. And now this time a completely different background but yet still same animation. So let's go back over here on the left hand side to Lottie files and then just look at some of the others we have right here. So we have our featured ones and we can just look at the featured and popular ones and then just check a few of these out. So say for example, I like this check mark right down here. Okay, I'm gonna add it and you can see right now it's green. Now what I'm gonna do now is change this color palette up from green to something more along the lines of my color scheme. So now I went ahead and added one more. I have this cool looking paper airplane and then there you have it. There is my plane on this background now and it works well with any background or any image. Again, that's Lottie Files. Now let's go ahead and then move on to number two. This one's pretty cool too. This one's going to be called Brand Fetch. You can find that by just typing in the search bar underneath apps. And then once I have it, you can see it's right here. Brand Fetch, brand logos at your fingertips. This has been a game saver for me. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to locate different style brand logos and I download one off the internet. It's extremely pixelated. It doesn't work well. However, that's all changed with this app, Brand fetch. Now check it out. Easily add brand logos to your designs. Say goodbye to searching for the latest brand logos. It gives you instant access to millions of logos, fonts, and more so you can elevate your designs. You have a search bar so you could search for Apple, Adidas, like in this case. And then going on to the next slide, you could see that you have access to a ton of brand logos that looks pretty good. Brand fetch will open up on the left-hand side. Now all you have to do is enter a brand or name or URL and it will populate. So for this case, let's just go ahead and go with Adidas. Now here we go. Adidas. Confirm it by clicking on adidas.com where it says suggested. Once you click on that, it's going to automatically populate with all sorts of these logos right here. All you have to do is click it and it automatically puts it right here on this page. When I expand it, I can make it larger or make it smaller. No pixelation, extreme clarity. It's going to work well across the board. So let me just give you an example. If I come over here in a Google image and I just search up for Adidas logo underneath Google image, but a lot of times if you try to open some of these, it's not going to really look well when it's time to enhance it, make it larger or make it smaller. You got to remove the background and a lot of times it's going to look a little bit blurry and pixelated. Well, not anymore. That's why this comes in so handy. So if I wanted something else now, let's just try Apple. It's going to confirm it by apple.com by the URL. I'll go ahead now and then put in this Apple right here, this black Apple. And then here we go. Now, the cool thing about this is now I can go ahead on the top, select my color scheme and then completely change up the color scheme now. So I have a Apple logo, but this time I change it from black to purple. And the cool thing about this is that I did random brand. And then just to show you guys what the capabilities and how good this looks, I'll do random brand a couple times. Look over here on your left hand side. I did random and it gave me Exxon Mobil. Pretty cool. I'll go ahead and clear all. And then down here, I'll do random brand again. Surprise me with a new search. 
hit that, and then there, oh, there we go. There's open AI chat GPT. I'll just do it one more time just to see random brand. And there's one for Salesforce. So I'll clear all. If there's any sort of company you've had a hard time finding a logo for, this solves that dilemma. I'll just even type in Lexus, and then there we go. Even for Lexus, populates, perfect. So this is gonna work wonders. Again, you could change up the color scheme. I'll go with pink, and then there you have it. This is one of my new favorite third-party apps. Now moving on to number three, and these are in no particular order because these are all awesome. One of my favorites though is gonna be Dall-E because Dall-E has a lot of excitement going on right now because of all the new ChatGPT updates and new features. And then this just takes Canva to a whole new level with their AI text image generator. Now let's just go ahead and then use in the new design. Over here on the left-hand side, just like any other AI art image generator. Just type in something that you want. And what I'll do instead of adding my own prompt right here, let me type in just surprise me. I'll hit this plus button with surprise me and let's go ahead and try this one out. I'll hit generate and then let's just see what it can come up with. That's a painting of a fox in the style of a starry night. So let me go ahead and go to my Airtable mega database and you could also get access to this whole entire database you want with every single sort of prompt imaginable from AI art to SEO to content. I'll put a link in my description. Now I'll come over here and then just paste in a beautiful landscape of snow capped mountains. I'll just go ahead and keep this simple. Okay, not bad. I went ahead and opened this up. I can expand it. All right, and then quickly I showed you Dolly, but then you could see down here, there are some actual other options that you could go with when it comes to AI text to image. We have this one down here, Imagine, which is going to be an image generator by Google. So there are a few more of these as well. And if you haven't seen my video on how to use text to video prompts in Canva, watch this video right here because you don't want to miss this one because Canva uses Runway ML to make some fascinating and impressive videos. Okay, so moving on. Now this app isn't used directly within Canva, but this is a new Canva GPT. Now we know that custom GPTs are the rage right now. They're new, one of ChatGPT's latest updates. And I also have a video for that one that you wanna watch right here. It's gonna show you how to create your very own custom GPT. But did you know that Canva has their own custom GPT? And so it is kinda hard to find. So I'll also put a link in my description as well on where exactly you could find this Canva Canva custom GPT because for now if I go to explore over here in chat GPT the only custom GPTs that will actually show up are going to be any of the ones that you created your recently used ones and then the ones just made by open AI so if you want this one from Canva right here I'll put the link in my description so let's just go ahead and go to it now you know that Canva does have a plugin with chat GPT but I do think that this actual GPT does work a little bit better what I'll do is just I'll click on the one that says make an instant Instagram post about a breathtaking sunset. So then Canva GPT starts the process. And then is there a specific message or feeling you'd like to convey with this sunset design? And then just so we can preview this, I'll just go ahead and then just put a, a positive message just to kind of show you guys what this can come up with. You might get this notification. Some info will be sent to chat GPT plugin Canva only do this for sites you trust go ahead and then select allow so you could see that canvas actually talking to the plugin itself okay so you can see how it's actually designing the process right now as we speak it's pretty cool to watch this in real time with the two tables and so it gave us two to choose from we have number one and number two left and right hand side so let's just say for example we do like this one on the left hand side all you have to do is click on it and it's going to automatically default by opening it up directly within canva itself especially if you're logged in and then all you have to do is just come in here like any other Canva design, change the text, change the image. Just like that, you have an Instagram post. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one. And this one is great too, because I know I've gotten a few questions about this. Now this is actually called Enhancer. So again, go to your apps and then just type in Enhance and it will populate. And then here we go, Enhancer, boost image quality up to 1000% with our AI technology in just one click. Say goodbye to pixelization and blur and say hello to quality and clear images. Let's try this in a new design again. In order to enhance your image, go ahead and choose a file that you want to upload. Okay, I have a file of me in here with a green background. Let's just go ahead and then select that one. I have that one selected. I'm going to select enhance face as well and then enhance image. We're going to sit back and wait a couple minutes and then revisit this to see how it looks. Okay, so now once it's done enhancing, you could see over here, you have two images that you could choose from. It says at the top, enhanced image was upscaled by 205%. You could see the one at the top and then the one below it is the original image. And so that's all you have to do. This enhance app has done an amazing job for me in Canva so far using a lot 
lot of different photos. In fact, I've used my own photos, but even using different AI generated images, I've used it before as well. Okay, so now the next one we're gonna go to is called avatars. So just type in avatar and it's actually called avatars by Nero AI. We're gonna go ahead and then click on this, add this into a new design again. Now watch this. It's pretty simple. It's gonna populate on the left-hand side and then we can just quickly just choose a model, okay? So I'll choose this one at the top. I'll come down here and then you could select a different voice, preview the speech, and then type in the message you want this to say. Okay, so I have my avatar uploaded. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so not bad. That was done relatively easy. And then the words do match up with her mouth and voice. But then going on to the final one, this one is actually one of my favorites. In fact, I use it all the time and you actually saw it in the beginning of my video. For hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. This one is the Hey Gen plugin. This works fascinatingly well. So if you haven't seen my full video on how to do this, watch this video right here. This is one of the most impressive apps to me to use within Canva. Now, once I have Hey Gen opened up, we can look at all of the different avatars we could choose from. So similar to Nero AI, look at all these options we have. We have quite a few of these avatars that we could choose from. And these are all realistic looking real people, okay? I can exit out of there. But my favorite part of this one is bringing photos to life. And what I love and what I've used this for is creating my own images in Leonardo AI, Canva, Midjourney, Adobe Firefly, etc., and then bringing those actual images to life. All you have to do is just select a photo that you want to upload and then choose upload. It's going to automatically bring it in on the left-hand side directly within Canva. And then there she is right here. There is the image. There's the photo I want to upload of this girl. Now, this was a prompt created with a GTA 5 type effect prompt, but what I'm going to do next is now come down here and then just preview some of these voices. Hello, this is how I sound. If I like Sarah, I'll go ahead and then use Sarah. And now I'll just type my script right here on the left-hand side. Use these seven awesome apps in Canva. Once you like it, simply just select Generate AI Video. This will take about one to two minutes, and then you'll get the notification it's ready, and then you can actually watch it. Now, keep this in mind. I'm not on a paid HeyGen plan, but you do have to have a HeyGen login. The free account works well for me. You'll get about two videos a day. I just use the free plan, so make sure you're logged into HeyGen, and then link the two apps up. So it looks like that this video is done being created. I'll go ahead and then choose Add to Design, and then I'll come over here and I'll just go ahead and expand it. And then now we'll watch it and see how it turned out. Use these seven awesome apps in Canva. Use these seven awesome apps in Canva. This one did a very good job. And so that's exactly how I made it. I think as far as AI avatars are concerned, Hey Gen is definitely my favorite to use directly within Canva. Now this just barely scratches the surface on all the amazing apps integrated directly within Canva. But make sure you subscribe because I'll keep adding more and more amazing apps that I recommend that will definitely bring your creativity to the next level. Try these seven apps out for yourself and let me know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.